All right, more magnetization before we move on to the next section. The statement reads, an infinitely long cylinder of radius R carries a frozen in magnetization parallel to the axis, this time M equal KS Z hat, where K is a constant and S is the distance from the axis. Uh, there is no free current anywhere. Find a magnetic field inside and outside the cylinder by two different methods. A. Locate all the bound currents and calculate the field they produce. Or B. Or and B. Use Ampere's law to find H and then get B. Okay, where H is the auxiliary field. Okay, but uh, let's first dive into the uh, diagram. We have a cylinder. JB running inside. We have KB running outside. We have an Empyrean loop of length L. Radius R. Again, all in the Z direction. Orientated about the Z direction, rather. Okay, so what we need to know is Ampere's law. We've seen it a thousand times. This time, the one uh, difference is that now we're in matter. So H is uh, the field for uh, that's produced in the matter. It's called the auxiliary field. And instead of mu not I enclosed, it's I free enclosed. Okay. And the auxiliary field is related to the magnetic field and the magnetization via H equal 1 over mu naught B minus M. All right, so part A. The bound currents are uh, JB, the volume, the curl of M, which yields negative uh, K phi hat, and the surface M cross M, which is KR phi hat. Um, again, you see the negative sign, so on the diagram, that's why B flowed opposite of K. Okay, uh, B is in the direction of Z, is in the Z direction. This is essentially a superposition of solenoids. Go figure again. So B outside is zero. Using the Empyrean loop shown, uh, inner radius, or excuse me, inner side at radius S, we see that uh, B dot DL is equal to me dot I enclosed. Uh, again, uh, the L would just equal L. DL would just equal L. So BL is equal to mu naught of the integral of JB DA plus the integral of KBL, or DL, excuse me, which goes to KBL. Um, after you integrate out for the bound currents, we see that BL is equal to mu naught KLS, the L's cancel, so BN is equal to mu naught KS Z hat. All right, just be careful of uh, simplifying the integrals for the I enclosed. All right, but uh, for part B, we have by symmetry, H points in the Z direction, and the same Empyrean loop gives us uh, closed integral H dot DL is equal to I enclosed. Um, when you apply that, there is no charge or current enclosed, so that's HL equals zero, therefore H equals zero. Since there's no free current there, uh, since there's no free current there, and so uh, using a relationship of the auxiliary field, we get that we have zero is equal to one over mu naught b minus m, and if we solve for b, we get b equal mu naught m. Go figure. So outside m equals zero, b equals zero. Check check. Inside m equal ks z hat, and therefore b inside is equal to mu not ks z hat. Check check. Good to go there. Pretty nice to see consistency once again.